Welcome everybody. I am here today with the OsoU Robot Car Starter Kit. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know very much about robots. I've done a ton of Arduino stuff obviously, but I haven't done a lot of controlling motors and things like that with it. So I'm kind of excited to give this a try. In fact, I've only built one other Arduino robot kit and it was just basically the cheapest one that I could get my hands on and I wasn't super impressed with that one. So I wanted to try something different. I wanted to see um, what maybe a better kit would give you. And just to kind of let you know like what I'm looking for, when I judge this kit, this thing is about 60 bucks. And when I judge this kit, what I want to know is I care about the robot itself and I'm looking for the, you know, the, the, the work to build the thing. I want it to, I want it to be a good project. I want it to be a, a fun project for my nephew and I, but what I'm really looking for is once you've assembled the car, you know, what do you have? Can you do more with it? And the thing that attracted me to this kit is that it shows Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, infrared, ultrasonic, obstacle avoidance, and line tracking. And what I think is cool about that is, sure, you can put together a little car that you can control. But after that, I'll bet that there's more stuff that you can learn with this kit and you can build the car with Wi-Fi and then rebuild it with Bluetooth and rebuild it with infrared and you can learn about all these other technologies while you're doing it and so I have no idea what's in this kit I have no idea if the parts are quality we're gonna find out let's flip it over and let's cut the seal with my trusty Stanley Fat Max if you haven't seen this this thing has two blades on it which is really sweet so like when I pull this blade back I've got another hook blade here so one two really sweet love this knife but I'm not here to talk about the knife we're here to talk about the robot so let's shake it up baby and let's open it up and it's a quality box it feels feels good oh I like that I like this so everything is packed in good foam um, you get a list of what's in there all the different parts all the different sensors that looks like a lot of stuff in this box uh, so we'll get t cracking with it so We've got these little motors. I think these are pretty standard. I think pretty much no matter what robot kit you get, you're going to wind up with two or four of these motors and pretty much these wheels. So let's pull this out. Nice. There's a little divider in there. Okay. So we have the starter kit CD slash DVD. It has the HTML, the video, and the code, which is really cool. I like the idea of not having to go out and find information. Of course, you might find updated information if you search on the web. If I do, I'll link to it. Um, let's see what we have here. This is this is actually well packaged. I like this. Uh, there's a Bluetooth somewhere got lost in the package. Uh, there's an infrared. Oh, I think it popped over. The Bluetooth and the infrared went to hang out together. No, that's a speaker. So um, I'm losing stuff in the box here. There's the Bluetooth. That looks like your uh, your standard HC05, HC01. It's an HC01 module. Um, so let's see, we've got the buzzer and the IR receiver and a voltmeter and an infrared transmitter, tracking sensors. Uh, these are pretty much all your standard sensors. Uh, let's, let's take this out for a second. Okay, I mean, everything seems to be intact. I will say these, I mean, they look like decent boards. They're, they're not covered in solder flux and things like that. They look like quality boards and somebody obviously took the time to, to package them and label them in this pill case thing, uh, which I actually like these things. I've seen, I think, uh, Julian Allette or somebody on YouTube reviewed these little cases and they use them all the time. So we've got some black and red jumper wires. Andrea Space will be happy about that, that they're color specific ones and they look like they're heat shrunk. So maybe you go one black will give you a bunch of female black wires. Um, you have the ubiquitous ultrasonic uh, SR04, I think it's called sensor. The uh, standard IR remote. Let's see here, we have a battery box that already has a barrel jack. Looks like a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack on it. One thing you should know, and if you read the reviews of this, which you should read the reviews before you buy stuff, is that this does not come with the 18650 batteries. Uh, you'll need to supply your own batteries or get them off of Amazon. Okay, very cool. So I this is and <laughs> if I can get out of the package I might be cutting it this is a shield that has an ESP8266 built right into the shield and so um, I've actually never done that I, I do a lot of ESP8266 stuff 
but I don't hook them to Arduino Unos and Megas and stuff like that. I just use them on their own. So cool. I'm very interested in seeing how the ESP 12S modules work. Uh, let's see. That looks like there's a bunch of hardware screws and stuff. I am not going to take that out of the package right now. Um, this looks like your standard uh, H bridge, I think they call them, motor controller. So let's look at this here. This is the OsoU Model X controller, which I'm guessing is what you hook the um, parts up to. Maybe I can give you a little bit better contrast there. Your standard blue USB cable. Whoever makes this USB cable probably makes a ton of money because this thing comes with every Arduino board. Got another bar barrel jack, and it looks like you have the option of powering this thing with 9 volts or with... Um, the 18650s, or there's a chance that maybe this thing, this powers the Arduino where the 18650s, these things power the motor. I don't know. I haven't read the instructions. We'll find out. So let's see what we have here. We have a couple of sensors. These look like infrared um, sensors, probably some kind of line follower, obstacle avoidance sensor. Um, again, I don't build robots, which is what's going to make this an honest review. I don't know much about these. So I think this is a... Uh, some kind of obstacle avoidance or line follower sensor. And we have the OsoU Uno. So let's pop that out of the package. And this is the one with the 328P, I believe it's called. Uh, and it's removable, which you don't see that as much anymore. And that's cool. So you could use this. Uh, I've always wanted to kind of use one of these just as a programmer to program these chips. Uh, so yeah, the board looks good. A little bit of solder flux there, but it looks good. Everything's clean. Everything's straight. Um, feels like a solid board. And we've got a bunch of these DuPont jumper wires and a little, uh, little, um, what do they call those things? Servo. A little servo to move, I'm guessing, for moving the infrared detector up. This is, uh, this guy escaped from the box. That's an IR receiver. And let's take a look here. Let's get look at the parts here. Okay, so I will say already, just touching this, this feels like better quality than the one I built before. The plastic is thicker. It's an acrylic. Uh, looks like it's mm, three mil, five mil. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get our trusty uh, caliper here. I'm guessing it's three mil. 2.89, so it's three mil. Hey, for an American guessing the millimeters, that's impressive. Uh, but yeah, what I like about it, it's got all this stuff silk screened on there. And so you can, you know where everything goes. You don't have to guess. And this looks like the thing to hold the, um, the ultrasonic sensor. So yeah, I mean, overall, my initial impression is that it seems like a quality piece of kit. Everything is there. I am not going to build this thing on video. Uh, you guys will be making fun of me for my build skills. My nephew and I are going to build this, and then I'm going to come back and tell you what I think.